Hey guys, welcome back. So Google Bard, which is the chatbot from Google, similar to ChatGPT, just released recently, but unfortunately it's only available in the UK and the United States. So I want to kind of go through how you can make this available no matter your location. So as you can tell, it says right here, Bard isn't currently supported in your country. So what am I going to do in this case? Well, I'm going to use a VPN. It's very simple. Now we're going to talk about these VPNs a little bit later on. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But let's just go ahead and demonstrate using one of the best VPNs, which is ExpressVPN. Let's go ahead and just connect to the United States. Knowing that it is available in the United States, we'll just go ahead and connect to the Chicago server. So now that I'm connected, if I go to the IP finder, it will recognize that I am in the United States. So let's just double check that we are indeed connected to the Chicago server. And as you can tell right here, it says that I'm in Chicago. If I go ahead and refresh Bard here, um, hopefully it should say that it is now available to me. Okay, as you can tell, finally, I can actually get access to it and I can join the waitlist. So I can just click here and, uh, you know, join waitlist, uh, whatever it is that I have to do. Uh, so they will email me, obviously, when it's my turn. But now, at the very least, I can access it. So it's as simple as that. Now, if you're interested in getting your hands on Bard, you will need a VPN. But again, there are too many VPNs out there and it can be a little bit frustrating choosing one that works well for you. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the best three VPNs. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is going to be the best one if you're looking for the best overall, fastest and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, ExpressVPN is my go to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is Nord VPN and Nord is what I consider to be the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency especially if you use a VPN for gaming or if you want extra features such as threat protection which blocks ads, malware ridden websites as well as protect your device from harmful files which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with and that's where the value for the money comes comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, the NordVPN would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is my best pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those 
looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you would like, which is a great plus. And that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, I'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee in case they're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.